of people. Sorry to disappoint you with the black screen again. I'm, you know, not really dressed for the occasion. You know, with me uh, having clothes, period, is good enough to say I'm dressed for the occasion. But, uh, anyway, I'm not, so here we go. You got a black screen. Now, as I sit here on my uh, twin bed with my dinosaur pillow under my arm, underneath my Undertaker poster, I uh, can't help but think how many people out there have the gall to av advocate non-support for MC212. I mean, they'll turn around and because they believe they have a big enough influence over the people attempt to use whatever influence they think they have to get people to stop supporting MC2 tall. And uh, facts are facts. People uh, see through all that. And, uh, you know, my fans are intelligent people. I mean, whether or, whether or not anybody else wants to... Uh, say that I make intelligent music it doesn't matter because my fans are intelligent people and they recognize lyrics that require you know a respectable level of intellect in order to create you know yeah, my beats are simple, my chords are simple, and all that, but uh, it's really about lyricism, and it's really about beats, and uh, the beats, the, the simpler the better. You, I mean, if your beat is way too complex, nobody's going to want to pay attention to your lyrics, and you want people paying attention to your lyrics at all times. I mean, even if it's a silly repetitive hook you want people to pay attention to it and say hey that's witty but anyway those who advocate non-support for MC2 tool uh, straight up they are losers word up people who advocate non-support for MC2 tool are losers now, I'm not 100% sure if any such people exist out there, but if they do, there's my safeguard. Calling them out before they even emerge and telling my people that those people are losers. You know, it's sort of like, you know, nobody can guarantee that there is a, a God, but there are certain safeguards that people take just in case, you know, and I can't argue with that, you know, because I'm, uh, I'm a practitioner of that myself, not a fanatic, but a practitioner. But, uh, anyway, this isn't about, uh, you know, my, uh, personal beliefs that keep me going, that, uh, that I'm grateful for, you know, and who I thank for my success, you know, I... I don't look at nothing and say, I did it all on my own. You know? I mean, I may have a few people to thank for it, but even then, you know, it isn't humanity alone that brought me success. 
It isn't nature and, and things we see and feel alone that that brought success into the life of MC2 Tool. Now, uh, again, I'm not I'm not religious, but I'm not going to turn around and be blasphemous neither. Yeah, that uh, that's just wrong. But anyway, getting out of that, I I said I was going to get out of that, so let me get out of that. Uh, yeah, you know, I have, like I said, I have my beliefs. No one could sway my opinion on that. You know, just like uh, no one could sway my opinion on abortion, I do have an opinion on it. I don't share it, but I have one. Uh, let's see. Uh, there are opinions I have on lots of things that I do not share. You know, what do I, what do I think of uh, Democrats and Republicans? And actually, I did say my piece on that quite a few times but yeah you know, we're getting out of the out of the realm of things this is to address any losers out there that might advocate non-support for MC2 tool you are failing epically failing And there's nothing else uh, to say about that. It, it's point blank, plain English. You are failing at persuading people not to listen to me. You are failing at persuading people to stay away from my shows facts are I don't know what else to tell y'all but it is what it is facts are facts and uh, the joints are packed I got a bit of cold I'm under the weather a little bit usually the worst time to get sick, well, I should say that the time when you're most prone to get sick is uh, at the change of seasons. Right at the change of seasons. As soon as something gets a little warmer, boom, there you are getting sick. As soon as something gets a little bit colder, boom, there you are getting sick. At least that's how it's been working for me you know, since as far back as I can remember. I remember being so sick, my mother and my aunt used to put ice on me. And like ice cold rags all over me to bring down the fever. <laughs> like an external source to bring down the fever. Whoa, I couldn't stand it. But, you know, that's what happened. The fever got brought down. <laughs> Now, if only I could remember how to do that, because fever or not, I like uh, cold compresses in the summertime. <laughs> I don't know where we brought that on, but that's how it is. So, there's a recap. My people recognize that I am real, and those who were never my people are now losers that do not support and actually have the balls to tell others not to support, and are met with failure. That's a fair enough recap, so we're going to try to keep this within 10 minutes, so signing off now.